years into a complex struggle over affordable housing rules, the state Supreme Court today threw out the current methodology for determining a municipality's obligation and gave the state five months to come up with a new one. Affordable housing advocates hailed the ruling. The Supreme Court's decision this morning is a tremendous victory for working families, people with special needs, and, and people who have trouble affording New Jersey's expensive housing market. Uh, it's going to result in more homes getting built. We have hard working people out there. The problem is that there is no housing. This is such a great decision uh, for the working poor in the state. The rules are set by the Council on Affordable Housing and have gone through major changes over the years. Current rules allow a town to determine its own fair share of a region's housing need based on the town's growth. The court gives COA five months to rewrite the rules again, take back some of the town's autonomy, and base its obligation more on regional need. The court gave a very clear um, timetable, five months. We want to get shovels in the ground, hammer swinging, and people into the homes they need as soon as possible. We just we can't wait anymore. We don't want to have this delayed any longer. The case pitted Kevin Walsh of the Fair Share Housing Center against the Christie administration, the League of Municipalities, and a dozen towns in Somerset and Hunterdon counties. This is an explicit rejection of the Christie administration's policies on housing. The governor's office said it would have no comment on today's decision. League of Municipalities President Janice Miranov said the old rules were flawed. The decision offers an opportunity to make them more reasonable. The three to two decision written by Justice Janie Lavecchia said the policy adopted by the legislature in the Fair Housing Act of 1985 cannot be ignored or rewritten by COA to the degree that COA has done through its wholly new growth share methodology. The two Republican justices, Hohens and Patterson, dissented. The advocacy groups were cheered. At last, our long uh, statewide nightmare is over. We have five months and we'll see some action. Governor Christie tried to shut down COA and was blocked by the Supreme Court this year. In this ruling, the High Court is asking COA to once again take the lead in setting municipal housing obligations. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron at the State House.